Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Kat. As always, thank you for stopping in. Today we are going to do another TJ Maxx slash Winner's Hall. Right now, because of the pandemic, that is realistically the only store that's open around and I need things. I need clothes for the summer. I need, you know, household things. So I thought, why not do another TJ Maxx slash Winner's Hall? So let's just dive right in. So this time around, I found some really, really interesting things. I found some beauty supplies, some clothing, some keto friendly, um, like syrups. So it was a total win for me this time around. So the first thing I found that was really interesting to me was this Lady Gaga record. It was $5.99. This is her Joanne record. And I checked to make sure both records are in there and it was. And records usually go for about 40 bucks, especially if they're a double LP. So I was really excited to find this one. I mean, it's kind of ratchety in the corner, but it isn't bad and the, rec the actual vinyls were not scratched. So for $5.99, it was a total steal. I don't know what's going on with uh, winners these days, but they always seem to have my foundation in. And every time I go there and I see the foundation that I love, I always pick it up. So this is the Lorac Perfection Foundation. Um, it, it was $9.99 and it is in golden beige. Like in the beauty store, it's about 40 bucks, so it's a good price. I also found this product, and I've been up and down about this product before. I have found it at Winners before, but it's the Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover, and it was only 13 bucks. It had a red tag on it, so I was super excited about this. If you're wearing like a full face, it's really nice to kind of begin the process of removing all that makeup. I don't use it on a daily basis, but I do use it for um, when I have a really, really heavy makeup day. A couple things I got for my daughter, I always find things, um, specifically clothing and clothing related items there for her because I feel like I'm getting a better deal on the price because kids grow so fast. So one of the first things I found for her was this beautiful headband. It was 10 bucks, so it was a little bit pricey, but it is from the brand CC California and it is got this beautiful like bead detailing on it and the on the inside of the band it's got, got this leather piece so it's not going to slide in and it's not going to pull on her hair i thought it was super super cute i'm gonna actually wear it too so like how could you not for 10 bucks so cute right so because the summer is coming up and we're always in need of summer clothes we spend a lot of time at the lake i found a couple of things for her for the lake she also, she also just got some um, new roller skates. So I found this shirt and it's just a, like a roller skate with sequin details. It was $8.99 and it is from the brand Mix and, Rat, Mix and Match by Cynthia Raleigh. Super cute, just something, you know, light, fun, kind of groovy in a way. And I found this and this was, I found this next product and it was a set. And it is, um, oh, so anyway, I just pulled the tag off, but it is Roxy. And it is um, just like a terry, um, terry cloth kind of sweater. It says waves and mountains on the back. It's in this beautiful mint green color, but it also came with shorts. So this was a matching set and it comes with a little pocket and you can see the inside is like a terry, terry cloth type. And so I figured that keep her nice and cool, but yet nice and comfortable and warm. I also found a pair of Under Armour shorts for her. These were a little bit on the pricey side. They were $14.99, but I Googled them to make sure I was getting a deal. I always do that at Winners, and I think it's important to do that. So I always Google the brand name and the item and see if I can find something comparable. And it was um, $14 um, regularly. Uh, they were $39, and they're in this beautiful kind of eggshell blue. I figured that'd be perfect for sports and activities. I also found these Roxy flippers, slides, flip flops. They were only $5.99 and I got them in a size one. I thought they were super cute and she needed a new pair, so for $5.99, can't complain there. And I finally found a whole bunch of clothes for myself. I needed some new summer gear. I have gained and lost weight in between quarantines, so it's like nothing fit right. Things were kind of getting old and eh. First thing I found was this bodysuit it's from the brand called gaze it's just a simple black uh bodysuit it was $14.99 but the the fabric is so soft it just that's what intrigued me about it because i have a number of black bodysuits i'm wearing one today but it just intrigued me because it's like this very soft it is a higher cut 
on the neck, which I kind of like, so you could dress it up or dress it down. So I love oversized t-shirts, and I found a bunch of them there this time around. So this is a Johnny Cash t-shirt in a wine red color. It is a little shorter in the front, which I don't mind, um, especially for the summer. It was only $12.99. I also got an oversized tee from the brand called Caution to the Wind, and it was $14.99, and it is just this kind of stone-washed, um, t-shirt it says it is better in the Bahamas which is about true for the, about the level I am at where it just kind of went into a lockdown again so I like a good oversized tee I don't like them too tight for the summer I also found this really fun one Hurley brand I um, mean it's oversized it's a gray but I loved the print on the front it's kind of neon and I'm really happy the neons are coming back in and it was uh, $12.99 compared to $21 yeah, 21. So I found this dress and I like, I ha I, I'm a dress person in the summertime, but I thought you always need another dress. So this dress is from the brand Band of Gypsies and it was on Red Tag Sale for 16 bucks. And it's just this cute flowy, really light cotton. I didn't realize how see-through it was though when it was in the store. I don't know if you can see that, but it is not sheer, but it has like, a little bit of a see-through vibe so just be careful what you wear it's got these um, removable cup pads in the top which is really nice I just I like the print of it for, you know if we ever get to go out again it does have a slit as well in the side but I just thought if you know you ever get to go to a bar backyard barbecue again something light and airy would be super nice to wear I've been so up and down about buying these like I put them back on the rack in the store like five times because I was like oh white pants but anyway, I bought, these are from the brand DKNY. I bought them in the size 10. They were on for $11 regularly. I think they had them on at 19. It says compared at 30. There's the tag. What I liked about these is they're, they are a heavier um, material, so they're not gonna be sheer or see-through. That is my big concern with white pants. But also they are flared out at the bottom, which I like. I don't like a skinny leg, I like a flared leg. And so I was really intrigued. These are called the Madison Flares. So, and they're um, and they're mid rise, which I really like. I don't like things super super low. I like them kind of mid to high rise. So that is, um, I'm kind of excited because I haven't actually had a pair of white pants in like 12 years. So, I'm really glad that they're not sheer and they're kind of a heavier material. Okay, so in these next pair of pants, I was absolutely floored, like blown away. They were five dollars a red tag. Regularly, um, I'm gonna try to peel this off to see what they regularly were at. No, I can't. Um, but anyway, I googled them, and they are from the brand Carl Lagerfeld. I bought them in a size eight. I googled them, and they were when they were an item in his store, they were two hundred and thirty-eight dollars. So these are a pair of trouser pants in navy blue. Um, I was so excited when I found these, and they actually fit. Um, they are literally, for $5, it was like, I was paying absolutely nothing for them. So I am super happy I found these. These were like, this was the biggest score of the trip was these trouser pants. So the next items I found were, I was like, do I buy them? Do I not buy them? I am trying to be more keto friendly in my diet. I'm not going full keto, I'm just trying to be more keto friendly and be more cautious of the things I eat. And so when I was doing my research, I was like, oh, I really like flavored drinks in the summer, you know, you know, a little bit of, you know, lemonades here or there, some mango juice or whatever, and all that is so high in sugar. So when I went to both a TJ Maxx and Winners, I found a number of different keto, <sighs> friendly syrups. So these are the Skinny Girls, Jordan Skinny Girl syrups. They're zero calories, zero, zero sugar. This one's a peach. They were $6.99 each. Um, this one is a birthday cake. I also got the Mare Lemon Raspberry. I got the Mermaid Tropical Citrus Flavor Blast. Unicorn Dreams. So I'm gonna try these and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do a video on a couple of the drinks I made with them. As I said, I'm not going full keto. I just wanna be more keto conscious in my diet. I feel like I just feel better. That is my goal. I just wanna feel better. 
um, throughout the day and like have more energy, like longevity. So I'm trying to cut out the sugars and the carbs and things like that. So we'll do another video uh, about taste testing and making drinks and stuff. So just make sure you're subscribed, give me a like, hit the notifications so you are notified. And the last thing I got was this candle. It's in teak wood. Um, it says essential oils poured in Los Angeles. WL is the brand and I like candles that are like manly smells. This was $12.99 by the way. It's a soy candle. It smells very teak woody but very natural. I've never tried this brand so I thought I would give it a go. Like I said, I like manly smells. I like, like leather scents. I like teak woods. I like leather smells. So I really like this kind of scent so I'm gonna give it a go. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for stopping in. My name's Kat. As always, it's good to see you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notifications for more videos, and give me a like, give me a comment down below, and we'll see you guys again soon.